Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Minecraft server. The results are in. You guys prefer the spruce, you guys prefer the cobble on the outside here, and you guys also prefer, oh wait, what's it? Oh yeah, the landing, the landing on the stairs in the back. So, I'm gonna be doing that right now. All done. The main floor, anyway. Now, a lot of you guys who voted for the other colors of, of wood, just you wait. Just you wait. I'm going to surprise you <laughs> um, because I can do the other. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome, actually. I mean, it obstructs the view just a tad, but it looks pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the other floors in different colors, most likely. Um, I guess this floor. This is going to be a complicated indoor build here because there's going to be no second floor here, but there's going to be one here. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, I think I'm going to make the stairs over this way. Maybe start them here, have them go up, have them have a little landing and then go up again. And then that'll lead to the next floors. But so far, the main floor is complete, um, except for the garage. The garage needs to be stone. I mean, all the garages that I've ever been to. This is no fancy garage. By the way, you guys want me to name this guy and keep him. I think that's a great idea. A lot of suggestions for Ruben the pig. Actually, I think I only remember reading one suggestion for Ruben. <laughs> But I imagine a lot of you would agree with that, renaming him Ruben. However, I don't want to name him Ruben because in Minecraft Story Mode, that's where it originates, the name Ruben for the pet pig. In Minecraft Story Mode, um, Ruben dies. Spoiler alert. I hope you've watched it by now. It's been forever. Uh, but Ruben dies, and it's just gonna it's just gonna make me real sad naming him Ruben and knowing that he's destined for terrible, a terrible outcome, so I'm not going to name him Ruben. I'll, na I'll name him something else. I'm going to name him after one of you subscribers. <laughs> you guys you guys want a pig named after you, right? I totally am. I'm going to pick somebody, actually, right now. I'm going to pick somebody at random from the comments and name this pig after you. Uh, I think I put all my name tags in the shop. Oh my goodness, at the the vines. This is not good. We need to like collect a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of string here and fix these vines. This is a little bit ridiculous. Ah, get out, vines. This is a bit much. Oh, look, I can walk on water. Let's get you out and let's get maybe you out like so and then put some string underneath and then uh, and then everything will be fixed. How come I can't walk backwards on ice? That's not fair. Uh, but yeah, okay, it's looking a lot better now. And even up there, it's just too much. Let's grab a name tag first before we name anything. Oh, oh. We haven't checked the shop in a while. Hold on. Okay. No, no. No. This is what I expected to sell most of. No. There's two missing. Huh. I think someone took two fishing rods and didn't leave me any money. I'm pretty sure I filled them up last time. And I'm pretty sure I had more books. Maybe not. Maybe not the books. Yeah, somebody took two fishing rods and didn't leave me any sort of payment. That is not cool. I must find out who did it. Anyway, do we have our... Yeah, we have our name tag. Are you guys ready? Top comment on my video, or at least I think it's a top comment. It's impossible to tell with YouTube system nowadays. Strudel. After 57 Strudel, who picked the exact combination I will be using, I think. I think he did, anyway. Um, so yeah, there you go. 57 Strudel, congrats. You now have a pig named after you. So let's put this um, smooth stone down here in the garage. In the garage. Uh, I have a little bit of an issue here. I think what will happen here is there will just be a walkway to go up. I don't know if I'm giving myself enough... Yeah, I guess so. I guess if I put a half slab there, there'll be plenty of headspace. What am I talking about? Hi, Strudel! Strudel's adorable. And you know what's really cool about these uh, garages that you can build? You can do something like this. Oh, my color, it was dripping oil. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, it's a terrible, terrible vehicle. All the oil drips. Just, just in one little spot. This is where I park it normally. So there you go. We got Strudel. We got some oil dripping. And we've got um, some finishing touch. Not finishing touches. What am I saying? It's far from finished. Just some extra. Oh, man. 
I'm sure. Just some extra touches to do around the house here. So, yeah, when you start digging things up, stuff like this turns up. So you have to fill in some spots. So let me get some cyan for that. And I think I need two more gray wools for here. Well, I can get this cyan right there. And then we need one more. Well, well, two. Yeah, two gray wools for that corner. And then I kind of want to make this wall happen. It's such a plain wall. But you know what? We're going to have our dining room right here. So maybe we'll put some paintings up. I think that'll be nice. Right, Strudel? I hope he doesn't leave now. I should put a door up. Guys, I've got another beefy tune for you. So, um, I saw a commercial the other day, and I, I've never really followed this band, so I can't, I can't claim credit for, like, discovering these guys or whatever. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that. But it was a really cool song, and I checked out more of their music, and they're awesome. The song in question is a Sick Kids commercial song. It, it's a very good cause. Sick Kids Foundation in Canada. Uh, I think it's just, it could be worldwide, I have no idea, but I think it's just in Canada. Uh, anyway, I actually donate a few times, or I have donated a few times. I haven't donated recently because, honestly, this house is draining me of every last cent. And I'm, yeah, it's, it's, I'm a poor, I'm a poor guy now. Trust me, this house is draining me of every last penny. But anyway, um, yeah, Sick Kids commercial. It's called uh, Outro, and it's by M83, and it's awesome, and I'll put the link in the description. You guys should check it out. It's a really cool song, very different from the last one I linked. I'm glad you guys liked the last one I linked, most of you anyway. So, oh, I left the door open. Strudel, are you still in here? He's still in here. Oh, I forgot to grab more smooth stone. Dang it. I did grab this stuff, though. So, yeah, there's another beefy tune for it. Was that two episodes in a row? And for all you Hermitcraft peoples, um, I have missed a Hermitcraft episode a couple times now this this week i think just this week um and again that's just because of the whole moving issue i have to i have to move and it's um it's like i have to move all over again it's kind of a pain i don't know what to do with this if i break that how does that look on the outside yeah see hmm i don't think it looks very good on the outside how does that look? I mean, it looks better on the... Uh, even even so, I could just remove both of these all together. How would that look? Of course, I'd have something at the top now, but... Ah, that's so weird looking. I really like the, the line across the top. Yeah, I really like that line, but it looks so awkward inside. Maybe I should continue the line. No, I can't continue the line here. It'll be like, yeah, you no, know, can't do it. Can't do it. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Um maybe maybe what we can do, I mean the top is now gray over there, which kind of sucks. We could just have the one corner. At least that way it sort of matches. Sort of. Uh, so let's just do the one corner here. So it goes all the way across the front. See that? And then over here it just stops. Which I guess is what we're going to have to deal with. Meh. Doesn't really matter to me. Okay. Let's get some more smooth stone. Let's finish off these uh, these wool parts. One, two. I wanted to put wool over here as well. I noticed this earlier and this sort of seems off. So let's put some wool here. Like so. And I think... We are done in terms of the ground floor in this house. I think so. It's looking good. Ah, oh, strudel. There's something I wanted to try here, actually. So the garage, I'm probably going to fill in this because there is no fireplace necessary in the garage. Uh, but there is a fireplace necessary up here because I want there to be. <laughs> or I could fill in that, too. It doesn't really matter. But something I really wanted to try. I haven't really messed around with, like, garage decor ever. Um, and obviously, we need some shelves for our garage. Now, we could... Oh, I didn't bring the iron with me, and I don't have any here either. But let me try a couple of different things really fast before we go and do other stuff. So, we could have the good old-fashioned shelving like so. But I think if we used trap doors, it would look a little bit better. You guys have seen this done before, right? Just like, like that. Um, this is going to be tough. Okay, let me go up here. Like... Uh, well, I guess we could just do that. It actually looks better this way anyway. Like this. Stuff like this. Right? It's like... 
looks like a shelf. But if we used this sort of thing in combination with some trap doors, I'm just thinking how how to do what's the best way to do it? Because we'd have to use full blocks, right? So let me see how full blocks look. Oh, stop it. Full blocks. No. Full blocks. Like so. And then we'd have a shelving to go this way and then more full blocks. It might, it might look a little chunky. What about cobblestone walls? They don't connect to, sh to shelves, though. So that's not really an option. We could do um, this. Like so, and then have the shelves, but that might be a little awkward either. I'm kind of excited to play with like garage decor. I'm gonna like take a look at my parents' garage because right now my own garage is empty. <laughs> well, it's got my cars in it. That's about it. Um, I'm gonna look at my parents' garage and uh, and see what all is kept in there. I know tires and and wheels and tools. Obviously, a nice little toolbox would be kind of cool. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's too much. How could I make these shelves happen though? How could I make these shelves happen? I know. I know how to make the shelves happen. Iron doors. This is how we make shelves happen. Okay, so where should we put them? Like right here? Like so? Oh, baby. This is going to be great. This is going to be... You guys are going to be blown away just now. Your your minds aren't going to be able to comprehend the amount of awesomeness that is going to be created in this garage while uh, Strudel... <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect name for a pig. Uh, stairs on in amazement. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, I needed one more. That's a pretty good shelf, right? Like a garage shelf? That's pretty good. I mean, it looks a lot like a door. Wait, can we turn this? Oh, no, they have hinges on both sides. I was going to say I want to turn it so that you can't see the hinges, but it looks like they have hinges on both sides. Not going to happen. Do we have enough room to make it double high? We don't. Um, hmm. Is it good here? I think so, right? Realistically, the car would take up probably about this much space right here. Um, and then the other car, this much space. We could put some more shelving along the side here. I haven't really thought about um, the, this is sort of a spur of the moment thing. I have not thought about like garage uh, decor. <laughs> so we're going to try and do that at a different time. But so far, I'm liking this. This is a nice thin shelf for our garage. I don't like that too much, but we can't really fix that unless we move this down, eliminate the ones at the bottom. A lot goes into this, guys. A whole lot goes into this. So now we can do that, but we can't put any at the bottom. We'd have to, like, remove the, the block. Does that look better? This this looks like a good table, though, for a garage if I, if I place these. Oh, I guess I could just use trap doors, couldn't I? What an idiot. What's wrong with me? I could just use trap doors. The only issue is I'd have to, like, power them and then move them with pistons. So let's use doors for now. I might change that, though, because trap doors would work pretty well. Although this looks kind of cool, too. Yeah, let me change it back to how it was with the little uh, divot at the top there. Because I think this just makes more sense to have shelving on the floor. Much better. Hi, Strudel. Where'd you go? Strudel? Strudel, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I put a floor on the top slash ceiling and I used birch. So there you go, guys. I used some of your birch. Top floor here is birch because that's pretty dark ceiling. So I tried to uh, I tried to offset a little bit. I'm not I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, guys. What do you think? Put a wall straight up. I mean, there's gonna be a wall here. I could extend the floor to like the top here, like so. Oops, not like that. And then have that floor close off. I think, you know what? I was going to put the dining room here. But it makes more sense to have, like, a living room here. Because then I could have, like, a stair or stairs. Uh, how do I do this? This is not, hey, this is not how I do it. Okay, let's just let's just forget the, the slabs here. Let's just use a little bit of dirt. A little bit of dirt action. Um, yeah, so... I guess this is going to be a bit of an issue as well. I'd have to replace this with... Like a full block, which honestly might look really good from the from downstairs. Let's do that real quick. That might actually look really good. Oh, I don't have uh, all the necessary blocks. No, we're good. We're good. So yeah, 
it'd be like a flat floor. The wall would start here. It would end about here. The stairs uh, would be tricky. I'd have to probably make it make maybe a sideways sort of stairway up to this way. This is why I want this to be the dining room because we want to be able to like have our foods come out here onto the balcony, come down here and make the bar the BBQs. Maybe not. Maybe this should be a bedroom and have have access to the to the backyard. But then the fireplace would be in a bedroom, which is not unheard of. Anyway, let's see how this looks from the bottom. Um, it's not terrible on this side. On this side, it's a little bit bad because of that, but that will come all the way down to there. Then we'd have to make some stairs going up. We'd have to figure that out later. That is something for another day. Word on the street, word on the street is that Michael has built us a gold farm out of a zombie pigman. Let's go check it out. I think this is the place. From his description, yep, I believe this is the place. Whose place is this? Oh, there's a sign there. I'm sure we've been to it. Okay, let's go up here. I'm hoping this is the spot. So apparently you're supposed to go up here, <clears throat> excuse me, and then just shoot zombie pigmen? I don't know if this is a farm or a suicide mission. Oh, I see. Oh, I oh, look at who it is. It's Severus. Let's see. Let's, let's scare him. He won't even know we're here. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Aha! <laughs> How you doing? Hello there. Is it? <laughs> look at all the mushrooms up here. I'm fixing it. Um Oh, look at all look look at all these XP's. Gonna got to make them not hate me though. Oh, let's take these XP's and all this beautiful beautiful gold nuggets. Yep, it throws it all down here right now. Oh, I see. So I haven't gone all the way up. Let's go all the way up and see what Michael has done. But not before we grab a bunch of these XP's. Maybe we should take some of these swords. It's too bad you can't unenchant swords or like transfer an enchant from a sword to um, a book because that would be really really cool all these gold swords are kind of useless in this game oh here's a gold bar that's nice 21 levels this xp system is amazing i'm not sure um if michael intended it to be an xp farm or a gold farm i think he did intend it to be an xp farm michael is uh, is killing it in the xp game <laughs> <laughs> He's dominating. Let me grab some more of this and let's go up and take a look. Come on, come on. Grab all this beautiful stuff. How much gold? That's not bad, right? Oh, we don't want this. Don't want any of these. Five. See, that's a good sword, but it's useless because it's on a gold. It's on a gold sword. Let's go up here and take a look. I don't know what Sev is doing exactly. How high up? Oh, I see. Oh, yep. There's some XP's being dropped. Oh, so, okay. So, Michael in the Skype chat says, you go up here. You're supposed to shoot them, I think. And then, um, zombie pigmen will spawn below and they'll be mad at you. So, that's probably a, what Sev was talking about when he was saying, try not to get them mad at you. Oh, my goodness. This is huge. Michael. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Bam. Screenshot. This is massive. Michael's been doing some work. Like I said, nicest guy on Minecraft. I love Michael. If he was a woman, I would date him. Well, hello, zombie pig man. How are you doing? Uh, okay. So, let me go all the way up. I don't know exactly how this works. But since Sev says it's fixed, well, the one to my right needs to be fixed still if you want to. I don't even know what is going on here. Hold on. I don't even know what's happening here. This is the first I've ever seen this place. So how does this work? So, uh, you shoot them? Don't shoot them yet, please, or I die. <laughs> I won't. I don't even know what to do. You shoot them and then what? They try to follow you or something and they drop down here and die? Is that what's happening here? Then why is the ice? What What is with the slime blocks? I've never seen one of these before, guys. So I apologize if I'm uh, if I seem a little, a little obtuse right now. Uh, so how does this even work? Uh, actually, hold on. 
let me know when you're done. I have never tried this thing before. All right, we're ready to try this thing. So I come down there. I turn on the piston system, which does something. Um, okay, so how? It breaks when you don't turn. Whoa, okay, hold on, hold on. It breaks when you don't turn it off when you leave, by the way. Okay. Um, all right, where's the switch? Where, where are the switch at? Is it down here? No, it's not. Is it over here? This lever? Lee? Okay, right here. Just flick it. Flicked. So now I go all the way up and shoot him, I'm guessing. Nothing seems to be happening, like, in terms of uh, stuff moving around. But maybe... Okay, okay. Stuff is happening now. Okay. So now go to the top, shoot a pigment, and just stand there. Stand right here? Get XP. Okay, let's see. Oh, goodness. Stand. I don't think you stand up here, though. It. You do stand up here. This is amazing. Oh, man. Anders, your triple spawner is useless, my friend. I just got to stand here. I got to shoot once, stand here, get the XPs. Oh, look at my XP just fly. And it works with the little baby guys too, huh? Yeah, sure does. Some of them seem to be surviving. Is that guy alive? I think that guy's alive. He can't be dead. There's no dead bodies in this game. That is really, really cool. Uh, this is pretty cool. I did not... Wow, this is awesome. Michael killing it in the XP game. So it doesn't seem like it's like 100% effective because there seems to be a lot of XP that I noticed didn't actually get transported up to me and it's like sitting along the sides and stuff but holy crap talk about convenience you just you literally sit there you hit one pig man and then you just st sit there you can AFK forever and get all kinds of levels this is awesome again Michael you the best you know what with these 31 levels I'm gonna enchant something and I'm gonna name it after Michael Michael's blade Michael's bow Michael's pick Michael's Axe, Michael's shovel, nothing has a really nice ring to it. How about Michael's, Michael's machete? <laughs> uh, Michael's mace. No, we don't really have Michael's shears. <laughs> Michael's shield. I don't know. What can we? Michael's something. I've got it. I've got the perfect name. Michael had a series. I think it's still called the same. I can't remember. I have not looked at his titles recently, but. His series was called Michael Mines, so I'm going to call this Michael's Miner. <laughs> I'm going to spell that correctly, though. Um, not Miner, M-E, or sorry, M-I-N-O-R. I'm talking about the E-R kind. Um, we need three of these. This is going to be good. This is going to be fantastic. Whatever we get, this is going to be Michael's Miner. Michael's Miner, and we're going to cherish it and love it forever. Uh, efficiency and unbreaking. Perfect for mining, and we're going to name it right here in our almost broken anvil. Michael's my minor. Michael's minor. Beautiful. Maybe we should go deliver it to him. I kind of want to deliver it to him. Back at Michael's place. Luck of the sea now open in Chunk City. Boy, that sure sounds like a great shop. Um, okay, so we're gonna leave it over here. His bed is here, so I'm assuming he sleeps. I hope he doesn't think like this is like Oh, he all he gave me was this stupid pick. This is like a chance thing, right, Michael? If you're watching, this is like a ch if you whatever you got, this was gonna be your pick because I used all of your XPs for it. So I know it's not an amazing pick; it's only efficiency and unbreaking, and probably that's why I'm giving it to you. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be keeping it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but it's just this is your pick. This is the pick that I gathered with your X or the pick that I created with your XPs. Um, used your pigman. Farm, farmer, uh, ended up enchanting this pick in your name. Beef. Use your pig man f farm. <laughs> I was going to say spawner. Use your pig man farm. Ended up enchanting this pick in your name. Bam. 
Michael's Miner. And we're going to surround it with a little bit of gold here to make it look all fancy. Ooh, and more Pigman-related items. Bam. Look at that. Now that, my friends, is um, show business. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's take a, one last look here at the exterior of Michael's place. Let's see if anything's changed. It is nighttime. Hold on. Let me see if I can sleep here. I'm going to sleep in Michael's bed. That's the real honor here. <laughs> um, yeah, look at this. Our conversation. You guys can see it now. Um, we'll do very good. Shoot one. Yeah. Oh, he must not be in the nether anymore. Okay, Sevidus is no longer in the nether. But let's take a look at Michael's base. Which one is the front door? This is probably there. His there's his automatic enchanter, and uh, he does a lot of live streaming from the server. So if you guys enjoy the live streams, Michael might be the one to watch. He's been he's been doing a whole lot of work. He's got a nice little area here. He's got something going on over there. I won't go over there in case I spoil something. Uh, and I believe that's a that's a a mob farm already. This guy is just all about the farms this season. Michael, you're killing it, killing it in the XP game. XP King, that's who he is. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, and make sure to check out the beefy tune. It's, uh, it's a really cool song, and um, it kinda, I kind of got reminded of it just, be just because it's, it's from a, a Sick Kids Foundation commercial. Really good cause, too. And if you, guys, if you guys have any spare bucks, at the moment, I do not. Otherwise, I would donate. Uh, I've donated hundreds, hundreds of dollars in the past to the Sick Kids Foundation. So if you guys have any spare bucks and want to donate to Sick Kids, you can go ahead and do that. I don't know, if I remember, I'll put that in the description as well. Thanks. Bye-bye.